story of the day is Meta. That's the whole market. The whole market's on hanging on Meta. That's it. Meta's up about 56 points today. I said on Wednesday, buy the straddle. I said, pay 26 for the straddle. I told you the straddle was 26 bucks. I said, all it has to move is 27 and you're going to kill it. You would have made a killing on it because it's going up to 465, 460 today. Their earnings were spectacular. I told you, even though it's overbought, it doesn't matter. Earnings nullify technicals. Write this down in somewhere in your like, you know, your book of strategies or words of wisdom I throw at you. Technicals don't matter on earnings days. They don't. Simply don't matter. These earnings were spectacular. Their ad sales were up, everything across the board. There were no yellow flags or red flags. Clearly, they beat by 50 cents. It's about a 10% beat. The stock should be up 10% today. Oh, look, it's up 12%. I have nothing negative to say. There's nothing negative you can say about this. What would I do if I were short? I'd throw in the towel and cover. What would I do if I were long? I'd buy puts to protect or sell it, take some of the gain. This is a bad place to be. You don't want to be short the stock. If a money manager doesn't own this stock, his or her career is at stake. This stock's not coming down. The stock is not zero. It may come down to 440 and it's going right back to 460. Everybody who's short this is going to have to buy it. There's a massive short squeeze going on. There's going to be a panic buy. If you own Meta, hang on to it. 